ourselves while Jeff goes out and participates in that. And look at the green on there, Natasha. They were kind of teasing you a little bit, but I think you called that there were some sprinkles out there in Washington County. Yeah, and this is pretty light stuff, so I don't think this is going to get in the way of anybody's golf game. I know you guys are tough out there. You could do it. Just a little bit of moisture passing through, and then we're back to dry conditions. And you know what? This is really a blessing in disguise. It's July. Normally, our daytime high is 80 degrees, and we're only at 70 right now, and we have a few sprinkles moving through. But not lasting all that long, not even enough to measure. You can see over Portland, though, you're dry. It's just in the hills, especially the coast range. In addition to the Cascades on the west side, you'll run into a few sprinkles. Now moving closer to I-5, though, right around Woodburn, Wheatland, Dayton, uh, McMinnville, down through Salem, Kaiser, we've had a few sprinkles as well. This is coming through now, moving basically from the southwest to the northeast and not lasting all that long. It's all associ associated with an area of low pressure that's well offshore, was to start us off this morning, is now sweeping through. You know who's getting a lot of rain, though? That would be parts of Arizona, especially right around Tucson. Area of high pressure is set up over the Great Basin. Area of low pressure set up just south of Las Vegas, pulling up a lot of monsoonal moisture. This is the time of year when they see the most rain, oddly enough, as opposed to the winter time. So places like Tucson, they were seeing big downpours. In fact, so much rain, they got over an inch of rain in a matter of 40 minutes, and that was just outside of Tucson. Your temperature here, Vancouver, 60. Nine degrees. Keep in mind, yes, the normal daytime high is 80, so we're well below average today. Mount Hood Meadows is at 61 degrees. You can see out in the distance there, Vancouver, that's where we have a few sprinkles also now moving in from the west side. And wind is picking up right around Mount Hood Meadows as well. Skamania, 66 degrees. And Skamania, that's where our wind speeds are between about 15 to 20 miles per hour. And Lincoln City, now we're dry, but about an hour and a half ago, we had sprinkles right here. Now we're starting to see some sunshine off to the west. Your temperatures in the valley right around 70 degrees. Pendleton, stark difference here, 93. East of the Cascades, you are heating up. Upper 80s right now. Central Oregon at the coast, low 60s. Wind speeds will continue to stay above 20 miles per hour until we really get to tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll start to see those wind speeds die down a bit and transition over to the coast. But our point of focus there for the middle of the week with a stronger northerly wind between about 15 to 25 miles per hour. And your hourly forecast looks like this tomorrow morning, waking up to a few clouds in the mix, but starting to see some clearing near the coast, 56 to 59 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Now we warm things up to the mid to upper 70s, so a little bit warmer compared to what we had today. You can see here more sunshine. As we get to Wednesday, we clear out all clouds and we're on to the big heat up. Tomorrow afternoon, right around 86, possibly up to 88 degrees in the valley. Here is your seven-day forecast. Heat is on Wednesday, Thursday, all the way through Monday of next week. Now we're counting on seeing some low 90s in the valley. All right. Thanks, Natasha. Thank you. We'll be right back, everybody.